So now next topic is the project budgeting. So this is showing the typical planning versus budgeting. How the planning and budgeting support in the SAP project system. Planning is an externally financed project. That is planning is done with the plan your cost across that particular project on a WBS. That is an externally financed project. Budgeting is nothing but the internally financed project that is the fund allocation. Okay, so which is something the internally control and planning which is something the externally where you can be need to procure your cost for the material, your services, your overheads. So which is called which is particularly done for the externally finance and budget which is the internally finance which is control your cost across that particular fund allocation. Planning which is a cost oriented and budget which is a fund oriented. Planning which is easily changed. So according to your requirements of the particular project or a WBS you can change your planning. Where the budgeting which is the binding values and you need to be take the approvals. Certain approvals need to be required in the system to do the supplementary budget or add on budgets. Such kind of budgets or a release budgets you have to need some approvals in the systems. Planning, there is a no availability check. You can do the planning as per your requirement or as per your timelines or a time phase of that particular project. You can change the planning. Budgeting, where the availability check was there. So, across that particular planning, if suppose 100 rupees is my plan cost on that particular WBS and I have done a particular budget 100 rupees on that particular WBS. So system will not allow me to incur the cost beyond the 100 rupees. That is the check was there which is configured in the system automatically. So how much percentage or a tolerance you require that can be set by the availability check. Okay. So on 90, 80% I required a uh, warning message on 90% I required a mail trigger to particular appropriate person. And on a 100% system will straight away throw me the error message that can be said by the availability check. The planning which is called as a fund request and the budgeting which is called as the approved funds. So this is a typical hierarchical diagram for the plan versus actual. So planning is the bottom of exploration which can be later on the annual plan values, cost planning, then budget applied for the same. Once you get the approval for the same, then you can be approved budget and later on you can be distribute the budget to the lower level WBS and you can be able to do budget on the year wise according to your requirement. So like the time spam of that particular project for a six years and I want to control the budget on each and every year. So system will allow me to do the year year wise budget and later on the remaining balance budget for the last financial year. I have to carry forward to the next financial year. That facility is available in the SAP project system. General information about the budget scenario. Budget is the approved cost framework for that particular project. So budget is nothing but the allocation of the funds where you can be control your cost and the commitments across that particular project. So during the execution phase you can able to control your cost on that particular WBS via allocating the budget through the system. So this is the process flow for the project budgeting. You have a cost planning. After cost planning you need to be request for the certain approvals. Once you get the approvals you have a approved budget in the system. Then you have to enter the approved budget in the SAP system. Then you have to distribute that budget on the lower level WBS. Okay, so budget can be uh, distributed from the top top to bottom or a bottom to top. Okay, either you can be apply the method bottoms up or a top to bottom according to your requirement of the business processes. And finally, you have to release that particular budget across the project. So these are the steps in the budgeting. Once you update the budget, if meanwhile the project gets started, and now if you have almost exhausted the budgets, then you have to supplement the budget. That is add-on budget. So there are different transaction code which is available in the SAP to do this supplementary budget, return budget and the release budget. Okay. 
once your project gets completed or a WPS work gets completed, the balance budget you have to return from the system. That is called as a return budget. And this, in particular industry, the cost planning is done by the project engineer, the budget is done by the project manager, and the chief finance officer will release that particular budget. So your control is on the release part and not on the creation part. So release budget which is something which is important in the system which controlled by the finance officer. So this can be provided through the authorization in the SAP system. So these are the different types of the budget available in the SAP system. That is the original budget which is called as the initial uploadation of the budget in the system. Then the budget updates. Once your project gets started and you have exhausted the particular funds, then you have a supplementary budget. If there is a balance fund which is available after completion of your project or a WBS, you have to return that budget from the system. Or you can be transfer the budget from one WBS to another WBS. If suppose any budget, any WBS contain the sufficient budget and any WBS which almost the exhausted funds, so you can transfer the budget from the XWBS to YWBS, that facility provided into the SAP system. So current budget is equal to the original budget plus supplementary minus return plus minus which is a transfer. Either it can be transferred from one WBS to another WBS or from WBS to another WBS. 